At last, I finally got my MTC in his certificate. It took a lot of hustling, but I finally made it. And I couldn't have done it without your support. So for those who are always supporting my channel, this is our certificate and I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for those who are here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop the skillful video or lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to share how I managed to be MTC and AVE certified. Welcome to another skillful lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention by the few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Magobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. As I have said, I want to share with you how I managed to get MTC in a certified. I will start by first saying, Perseverance is the matter of success. No matter how hard it is to get to your dream or goal, keep on hustling and one day you will achieve it. Time and dedication matters a lot, and the rest shall fall. It took me a long time to be certified because I didn't have money for the course. MTCNA course in South Africa is offered by Myro Distribution, and it is a three-day intense course with nine modules. On the third day or the last day, you have to write an exam so that you can be certified. The cost fee is about 7,800 and in that 3 days, time is money. So if you go there not having knowledge of IT networking or microtik, I promise you, you will be left behind. We all know it's not easy to have 7,800 at our disposal. But I did not let this situation discourage me. Instead, I dedicated my time to learning and researching MTCNA course. And how did I do it? Firstly, I will watch YouTube channels as there are a lot of content creators who are creating content about Microtik. If you can go to your YouTube, let me show you. You type Microtik. And among these Microtik content creators, we also have our channel, Technology for All Academy. Please don't forget it and also please don't forget to subscribe so that we can grow our channel. The second thing that I did was to visit the Microtik website itself so that I can learn more about Microtik and what do they offer and all the things that are happening with Microtik. And last but not least, the third method that I used was to go to Microtik Wiki so that I can learn more about the information or about the lesson that I was busy with. If I don't have enough information, I will go to the Wiki so that I can check what's happening with what I'm doing. For example, let me go to wiki okay microtik wiki okay we'll click on microtik wiki i'll click on microtik and on the wiki let's say we want information about the dhcp configuration what i will do i will go to the search and then i will type dhcp configuration and on the information that i got i will click the first one that appears as you can see, it gives us the information about DHCP. You can read its manual IP or DHCP save. And this is the content about DHCP save. So you can learn a lot from Microtik Week. And the most crucial one that I did was to start my own YouTube channel so that I can teach you guys. You may not believe it, but that helped me a lot. Because as I was busy teaching you, the skill was getting embedded in my skin. Before we can end our lesson, let me go to Microtik website so that I can show you my results. www.microtik.com and I'll press enter. And on Microtik website, I'll go to account. Okay, let me log in. And if I go to my certificate, you can see there's my certificate. There's my number MTCNA. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you is how much did I score? I'll go to my training sessions and on my training session you can see I got 82%. So I would like to end this video by saying never give up on your dreams, no matter how big or small they are. I was MIA on YouTube because I was preparing for two courses. I am done with MTCNA 
and now I need to finish my portfolio of evidence for facilitators course so that I can hand it in. Hope this lesson was beneficial and you gained a lot from it. If you did, please don't forget to share with someone who will also benefit a lot from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we drop another lesson. Let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.